Welcome everyone. I am going to be opening another scroller box that I was gifted for Christmas. So let's go straight ahead. If no one um, knows what this is, it's an art subscription box that you pay £15 a month for. Um, it's called a scroller box, obviously. And it's based in the UK and like I say, £15 a month for a box a month and generally I think they're quite, quite amazing and I do really enjoy these and um, obviously well it's just one of my favourite things to do and I'm currently in the middle of another video filming it's very slowly but getting on with it and this came in the post and I just had to open it straight away and get on with some art because I find these really challenging and really inspiring as well and it's just always amazing to get new supplies obviously so let's get on so always neatly packaged so we'll get into that in a second but it feels very heavy really heavy i'm excited about this wow look at that artwork that's absolutely stunning check that out that's so detailed well i'll read you a bit here there's the featured artist Gemma Styles um, from London she has two higher diplomas in fine art well that just shows doesn't it that's absolutely stunning so well there's a little I'm assuming this is the paper so we've got a sea white of Brighton um, acid free 140 GSM extra wet strength so I'm assuming it can hold a bit of water nice sketchbook yeah it feels quite thick feels like it could hold a nice amount of water so that's quite nice nice and black so that's everything so put that to one side I will open this package So, wow, this looks very interesting. So we have our sweetie that's always included. So this is just a strawberry. Feels like a kind of the old fashioned starburst sort of thing. Then we've got our information and our scroller box sticker. So I'll just have a look at the scroller challenge. The challenge is nature's eye. So that's basically what we have to base the art work around that we're going to use these supplies to create. So nature's eye, that's quite a nice thing. That's something more up my street. So we'll have a look at these and I'll read off this, um, this list as to what is included. So firstly, first thing on the list are these Derwent graphi graphic graphite pencil tin. Look how amazing this is i love getting new pencils i don't know what it is but it's always so nice just to get new pencils so when it comes in this gorgeous tin which i hope i never lose <laughs> um okay so let's have a look at the size you've got a 2h so quite hard you've got your standard hb you've got a 2b which is my favorite um thickness 4b 6b and then your very nice soft 8b and then it comes with an eye sharpener with those. So they'll be really nice. I love Derwent pencils. I really like this tin. I've never seen this tin before. So that's good. Other than that, we have next on the list is a Pentel Superb Tech needle point pen. So it just looks like a ballpoint pen at the moment, but check that out. let's see if my camera will focus on that let's have a look here we go i'll zoom in and you can see look how fine that point is so it is a ballpoint pen but it's very very fine i've never seen these before in fact let's get a piece of paper all right let's get the box okay so look how well, let's get this working you know what pens are like never perform when you need them to that's annoying 
It's a new pen, so it might just need coaxing a little bit. Okay, well this isn't going to work right now, but I'll keep coaxing it and see whether it starts to work in a second. Okay, next on the list is an Art Line 220 super fine 0.2 millimeter pen. So it's a colored pen. It's a fine liner with brightly colored water-based ink. So again, it's just your standard fine liner, I think, with the tip there. Quite a nice orangey color. Very nice. And then we have another one of those, but in yellow. I seem to get all the yellows and oranges in these boxes for some reason. <laughs> so that's those. Now, this next supply I'm very familiar with. It's a jelly roll and it's by Sakura. Uh, it's a white opaque um, gel pen. Ooh, gel pen and it's, it's very good. I do like the jelly rolls. Um, and I actually have a couple of these already, so that's just going to add to my collection, which is good. Next is Derwent Art Eraser's Dual Pack. So it looks like we've got an, a normal art eraser and a soft art eraser. So let's see. Um, the soft art eraser, so this black one, contains charcoal for gentle and effective erasing, causing less damage to the paper. So this one is your usual one and they're PVC and latex free non crumbly so that's good so they'll go with the nice pencils that's nice um, and then there's just a little bit about this sketchbook again like I said it's a C white A5 sketchbook um, card cover and 40 pages of all media 140 GSM which is good um, so we can try a couple of things in there. Oh, sorry, I forgot I zoomed in. Try a couple of things in there and see what comes up. Let's just test this pen again. Now, I think it might take me a while to get that pen working, but yeah, so this is quite a box, really. It's a very interesting box, and I think I'm going to enjoy this because it's more up my street um, doing kind of fine work fine art and also um stuff to do with nature is my favorite so yeah it'll be fun to try it out so um i'll see you when i show you what i've done so thank you for watching so far keep watching thank you okay so i really struggled with thinking of something to draw because i really tried not to because the artwork that was provided um, the featured artwork was so beautiful it just I just couldn't really get around not wanting to do something similar so in the end I did an animal but I try not to do a bird so um, recently um, well not recently this 2016 was not a good year for cheetahs and cheetahs have always been one of my favorite animal and I absolutely adore them and you know it's quite an upsetting thing to hear that they're not doing very well and you know everything like that anyway so i found a stock image of a baby cheetah and instantly i knew that this was what i wanted to do so what i did was i brought that stock image up and just to help me out a little bit i altered it to be black and white and that just helped me get you know the darker areas and things without having to struggle looking at a coloured photo and kind of changing it into black and white um, as I'm doing it. So uh, that's what I did and yeah this is, it was really fun to do actually and the Derwent pencils are a dream to work with. I must admit I used mainly the, which was the thickest, the 8B or 6B, something like that, the thickest one. I used that one for almost all of the dark parts and even just some of the strokes of the fur, it just seemed to 
flow way nicer and I could just you know press lightly if I needed to get those light areas and really press on hard to get the dark areas. Um, a lot of this video you probably won't see the pencil too great, um, won't be as dark as it actually is in real life because I've got a lamp over me so it's kind of reflecting off there and dimming those um, pencil lines a little bit but in the end I think I alter it so you will be able to see it. Um, what else can I say about this? Yeah, it, it was a lot of, it was a very long process, you know, trying to get all those pencil marks in, everything, and to be honest, I really wouldn't mind doing another video based on these scroll supplies for this January box, because I just really enjoyed it, and, um, you know, animals are just amazing to draw, I think, so, yeah, I might even do another video after this, um, using the supplies again. But, um, yeah, I'll move on. I didn't put as much detail in as I'd probably have liked, um, but I do feel like it went very well. Like, I feel like, although it wasn't extremely detailed like that featured artist did, it was, it was kind of my own take on doing detailed work, and it was very... Uh, it was just showing you, basically where the fur was rather than me doing every single stroke because that's sometimes can't be can't look very realistic when you do every single stroke of fur so I, th I feel like I captured its furriness and fuzziness as a baby cheetah whilst not spending ages doing every single piece of fur so I think that went well um, I'll skip ahead um, to the where I used each supply so after I did all the pencil work, I tried incorporating the fine pen um, to just darken the really dark patches of fur and also just add really fine detail with it, but I found it, it well firstly it, it took me a long time to get it to work and then in the end it just re didn't really go over the pencil very well so unless I was going straight onto the white paper with it, it wasn't really coming out how I'd like it. So in the end all I really did with it was leave some indents where I tried to use it and then signed my name at the end so yeah that's basically what I did with that the rubber I used the black rubber the most because I felt like it just rubbed out a lot nicer uh, I don't think I even opened the other one <laughs> um, but yeah it was it, it was a nice rubber I must say it didn't cr crumble as much um, and it rubbed out perfectly even on places where I'd pressed quite hard um, which was really good um, again, I was trying not to let myself be um, influenced by the featured artist, but I must admit, I really, really liked how they just coloured in the eye. And since the the scroller challenge was nature's eye, I couldn't resist doing <laughs> the same sort of thing and using my fine liners just to create coloured eyes. And I also feel like those eyes reflected the. Um, the colour of a cheetah without adding it in and I suppose I could have used the colours to colour in the cheetah but then I feel like it would lose some of its detail somehow adding colour to it because the pencil really shows the the lights and the darks of the picture which I thought was really nice so yeah this is me using the fine liner pen here to try and darken the areas and as you can see it worked a little bit but it just wasn't wasn't really working how I'd like it so that's when I stopped and kind of gave up with that so I just use um, a harder pencil just to add a few extra details in there the jelly roll in the reference photo I was using there was no reflection on the eyes too much it was more reflection on the eyelashes of the cheetah or the fur above its eyeballs so that's what I used that for and I tried to add in its whiskers with the white pen and much like the fine ballpoint pen it wouldn't really go over that pencil very well um, so in the end I tried putting thick layers of that ink uh, the gel pen ink over that to try and create white lines and then where possible I kind of used a very fine pencil one of my harder pencils to kind of just highlight where I put highlights if you know what I mean and kind of create those a different way and that seemed to work a little bit um, not as much as I'd probably have liked but um, yeah I was I tried anyway with that <laughs> um, 
yeah, so I think that's it. And I really enjoyed this. And if you haven't already checked out Scrollbacks, I really suggest you do. They are amazing. And I do love getting new supplies. I wouldn't recommend waiting for to see what supplies are in a month and then ordering the boxes, which you can do. But I find that the surprise, surprise of the supplies <laughs> um, is just the pull point of it. And I don't think you should really order a box but if, if that's you want to play it safe <laughs> then uh, that's probably the best thing to do so yeah with the fine liner as well i just add a little bit of yellow to odd little places to suggest color suggest that the cheetah is that nice golden tint um so yeah that's that's basically it and um yeah so thank you for watching and um i hope to see you in my next video types of thoughts were initially in my mind when I was doing this and so when I finally came to a decision I think it was more based on what the sharpie pens would allow me to do and that was do block colour.